Hello, so I decided to talk about one of my favorite movies, which is called Secret Window. And the main character's name is Mort Rainey, and he's going through a, um, a divorce because he caught his wife cheating on him. And so he goes, moves out, he moves out of his house, goes to his own cabin in the woods next to a lake. And he's, um, he's a writer, so he's like, going through writer's blog and basically going through a lot of things so one day this random guy shows up to his house named John Shooter and John accuses Mort of stealing his story um, Mort said that it was his story and that he wrote it first and that it was published in a magazine and so John says okay I want proof and basically the stories are exactly the same thing except for the ending and John gives him three days to show him proof that it was actually his story and that it wasn't stolen from him. And so Mort tells him, okay, I'll go to my house and grab the proof so I can show you. And John leaves angrily. So that night, um, Mort finds his dog murdered outside and he assumes that it was John. So the next day, John goes back to Mort's house and visits him, and he tells him, if you don't show me my uh, the proof, then you'll see what else happens, basically threatening him. And then Mort's like, okay, I gotta go to my house and get you the proof. And so when, when that was happening, um, his neighbor drove by, and he saw them talking to each other. So then... Um, John leaves after that and that same day Moore finds out that his house got burned down where the proof was and then he automatically assumes that it was John who did it again who um, burned down his house and so then he hires a private investigator because he did go to the police and they, they didn't take him seriously and the private investigator tells him okay well your neighbor saw you talking to him maybe we can he can help us out here and so they um, arrange a meeting the next morning to talk about what happened. And so that morning, Moore oversleeps. Um, so then he wakes up and he goes rushing out his door and he sees the private investigator and the neighbor dead in their in his car. And he's like freaking out because he doesn't know what to do. And John shows up and he tells him, basically saying, this is what happens if you don't show me proof that that was actually your story. And so he's going through so much and he doesn't know what to do. His ex-wife is like, his well, his currently wife is like telling him, um, also like nagging him to like sign the divorce papers and stuff. And so um, that night he like starts like, you know, stressing now, and he sees um, John's hat that's been, he's been wearing this whole time, and so Moore puts on the hat, and he um, realizes, like, he starts hearing himself, and, like, he's hearing voices, and he's, like, he realizes that John never existed, and that he's all in his head, and then he figures out that he was the one who murdered his own dog. He was the one who um, burned down his own house. And he was also the one who uh, murdered the private investigator and his neighbor. And so basically he took on a on, on new identity and became John Shooter. But he doesn't remember anything. And that's called dissociative identity disorder. And basically it's when like a, an identity... Um, one or more identities are present in a person and they like alternately take control and one of the system symptoms is that like you can't um remember anything and that is basically like psych psychology and so i saw this movie a long time ago and it like really got me into psychology and so that's why it's like one of my favorite movies because i actually do want to major in psychology and like learn about like uh the human behavior and like study it and like that's really fascinating to me so that's why i like this movie a lot because like it like got me into it so yeah